So miracles are something I've heard about my whole life, and I've been around um, church, and I've been around believers and so forth for a long time, and I've seen a little bit of, of, of this kind of around the edges, but it's not something I've ever personally experienced until now. Hi, my name is Brad, and uh, I've been involved with the uh, Meeting Place for about nine months. So what happened to my knee, and, and the reason I'm talking to you today is because I was um, starting to experience soreness in this right knee. Um, it had gone on for um, probably several years, and I'm, I'm an avid snow skier, and the last time I went snow skiing it, it, that last season, it started to bother me. and and it continued to get a little bit worse. And then I'm, I travel quite a bit for business. I was in Las Vegas meeting some clients. Um, we were walking to uh, lunch and I stepped off of a curb and when I stepped down on this right knee, it just gave out, it didn't work anymore. Um, and so I kind of fell to the ground and they picked me up and they're like, what's going on? I'm like, I don't know, my knee's messed up. So and it really was messed up, it was swollen. Um, it was very painful and, um, you know, it was kind of grinding. I don't know what was wrong. But uh, so I went to the uh, emergency room that afternoon and they checked it out and they said, there's really not anything we can do, but it's obviously messed up. You did something. It's torn or I don't know. So that was kind of the diagnosis. So I went uh, back to the hotel room, called my wife, told her what, she, what was going on with it. She went to the meeting place that next night and the, uh, the guys at the meeting place prayed for my knee and I woke up that next morning on Wednesday, so that's what, 48 hours later, and the swelling was gone, the pain was gone, my knee was completely well. And I can't explain it and I don't know that anybody can explain it other than, you know, if you, if you know who Jesus is and you know what his promises are, that explains it. So it was really, kind of a um, watershed moment when this, when this knee was, was made whole, was made better. Um, I've hurt myself before and, and I know what it takes to get better and I know how it, the difference between well and hurt and this thing was instant, it was miraculous. And uh, that's really when I, when I noticed it. And I think it was, um, you know, the deeper I get, the closer I get to the Lord and to His Word and to, to following Him, the more I understand how much this is for today and how much it is for you and how much it is for me. And that it has more to do with our faith than it does with the accessibility of it. It's there for everyone. What's really, I mean, that's fantastic, but what's really even more fantastic is that I was giving this testimony a month or so ago at the meeting place on a Saturday night and there was a guy that I haven't seen since and didn't see before. He's probably there and there's so many people that I just don't see him. But he heard that testimony and during the hearing of that testimony, his knee got better. And none of us can explain that either. Such a cool occurrence. And again, only, only, through, uh, only through Jesus, only through the work of the Holy Spirit um, can, can something like that happen. And I'm just here to tell you that uh, miracles are not for um, the biblical times. They're not just for um, those who read Acts and think, well, that was then, but this is now. No, actually, this is now, and miracles are for now, and Jesus is now, and that's good news.